Okay, teachers, um, this is a basic how to get on Edmodo. Hopefully, this is not brand, brand new. Um, if you have no clue how to start, then you're going to start with I am a teacher. Uh, your title, obviously, you can pick um, how you want to be seen. Uh, your first name, last name, an email, and a password. And when you do your sign up, it's going to ask you for a group code or an access code. I'm not sure how they phrase it, um, but it's over here in the side screen if you can kind of see it. It says I J Z G R zero. So that's our our I mean our middle school access code. Um, if you need it, uh, the way that I set. Come on, it's going to be pausey. It's got to think for a second. Um, I set up my login to be my last name and my first name, so it was something easy to remember. It wouldn't let me do uh, to Edmodo their last name and their first name for their their actual login piece, like what I'm doing now. And then I make I tell them to make their password their ID number because that's something specific to them, and it's not easily forgotten for most of our kids. Uh, so a real quick navigation, they changed it. If you were on it last year and you're new to it this year, or you were on it at the beginning and you forgot, whatever. Um, they changed the layout a little bit to make it more streamlined. So at the top, uh, this is your, um, your status bar. So this is where you would check progress of Assignments being turned in, what hasn't been turned in. Uh, Discover allows you to join or look at groups that you may um, that may help you with your lessons or give you some different ideas. Uh, when I first started doing this, I was in a science teachers group, uh, which gave me some different ways to submit or frame an assignment or an activity to get deeper connections with the kids. Um, so the when you click on it, it's going to have stuff that you've kind of pegged that you like. Uh, if you've not been on it before, then it's just going to be really random and you'll have to go through. Um, the library is on the kids' screen. It will be shown as a backpack, and it looks like two little squares on top of each other. But their uh, backpack is where they can store things kind of in a cloud form. Um, so these are all the things that I've put on there throughout the the time I've been on Edmodo. Uh, your folders. These are how you can share work or store work for or from kids. So like my chemistry unit, uh, these are just the chemistry one things, um, periodic table website, and then the Khan Academy. Um, your folder options. You can pick who you want to share or what groups you want to share these folders with. Uh, this will allow you to share if you have different core subjects in the same um, on your Edmodo then you can share just your ELA stuff with your ELA groups and just your science stuff with your science or uh, whatever core groupings you have. Um, if you want to delete a folder then you click there's these little squares that pop up when you hover over them if you click it uh, there's a little delete sign that comes up um, you can click all of them if you want to purge your entire library I don't recommend doing that and then uh, the newest thing that they've got up this year is your Google Drive, um, which to me is kind of awesome because if you use Google Plus for portfolios, then this will allow kids to pull things from their Google Drive to turn in assignments. Um, it will also allow you, if you have things on your Google Drive, to submit it to the folders or add it to the library for an assignment. Um, When you click on things, it should take you off to that new site. It should open up a new window and give you that to look at. Uh, but because most of us are sort of familiar with Google, I'm not going to go into that super deep. So let's go back to the home button. Um, this will take you back to the launch screen. Over here on the side, there's a store where you can purchase apps. Some of them are very expensive. Uh, you can manage your settings here. The apps launcher are things you can add to your sidebar. If you notice, I have um, a, th a few more boxes that I can drag to. So if I 
I have the Edmodo planner here, but uh, if I wanted to add school tube, which is kind of like YouTube, then I could drag that over. Or if I wanted to add this photo editor, especially for art teachers, um, this may be an interesting thing to, to look into. You can drag that over here, and then when you're done, you just click out of the gray box. So how do you make a post? If you have an alert that you want to send, this would be something like, hey, remember your filter permission slips are due tomorrow or your project is due in two days. Uh, you can decide who you want to send it to. If you can send it to a specific group, um, a specific student, or even a teacher that's in your grouping. Um, assignments, uh, you'll have to give it a name, describe it briefly, and then send it to a specific group or a student. Um, this worked out well. We had a kid that broke her elbow last year and was out for two weeks, so this was a way for her teachers to get her assignments. Um, you can add a specific file, and this will open up your library, which you can add from your library or from your Google Drive. You can add a link if you wanted them to go basically do kind of a web quest. Uh, this is specifically for, I'm sorry, the file is going to open up your computer launcher. Um, so this would, if you're on Mac, it would open up Finder. If you're on a PC, it would open up uh, a launch window. Um, so then this would be your library, and then you'll have to give, if you wanted it to be scheduled to go to the sites on a specific day, you can schedule the time. Um, make sure that you give it a due date, otherwise it won't accept it. And then if there's an assignment that you've created, then you can load that from here. And it can be uh, a document, pages, or PDF um, for that. And then you would just hit send. If you wanted to load a quiz, you can create a quiz. Uh, when you create a quiz, this is pretty neat. You make sure that you give it another title besides quiz and then this very long random number. You can set a time limit. If you only wanted them to have like 15 minutes to answer four or five questions um, or you wanted to give them an hour to answer 30 questions, you can set that time frame. Uh, there's different types of questions. You could do a multiple choice, a true, false, short answer, fill in the blank, or matching. Uh, and then when you're ready, you just add a first question. You type it in. Uh, you set the correct answer with these little buttons down below and you're good to go. Uh, you can preview it. You can even print it out for kids that aren't tech savvy or can't be on the computer for whatever reason. And just make sure that you hit this assign quiz button or it won't take. So we're going to go back to the home. Uh, you can ask a poll question. Um, if there's an assignment that you think kids did okay on or you just want to see how they stand, this is a good you know, very quick formative assessment that you can see, did they get it, do they understand it, or they, do they need more help on it? Uh, a note is just a general post. So if you are familiar with like Facebook, this would be how you post things. Um, or if you were doing a blog, this would be how you add an entry. So these are the things that I have added. Um, it tells you the date that it was added. You can reply. Uh, this is how I get the kids to post to responses. And then um, you can add reactions. Because I posted this, I can't add reactions. Um, so if you had a, a grouping of student posts, then you could add your reactions to theirs, and they can add reactions to yours. So really quick, groups, if you click on this little plus sign, it lets you create a group. Um, so if you create a group, you can do the basics, which is a group name. You can give it a grade or even a range, like Science Club has an, a range from 6th through 8th grade. And then you can give it a subject area. Um, they can be a specific. When you click Science, there's another sub-subject sub -subject that opens up. Um, I think mine are just basic sciences, but if you are high school and you have a chemistry um, group or a physics group, you can do those and click that in. So. Uh, looking at your groups and how you want to look at it. Uh, there are some things that we all join in our groups that we're like, I don't really want to see it all the time. So like this GT Update Science 1314. If you notice this, the little star is not clicked because I don't want it to show up in my group's banner on my left. Uh, if you wanted to see it, like I'm going to click the chaotic pre-AP button. If I click the little star, it removes that group from my side panel. But because I want it to be 
seen because it's one of my groups for next year that is going to stay checked uh, the communities button down here on the bottom these are specific communities that I've joined um, you can join almost any group you want uh, if you click the show all it allows you and then you can come up here to do discover new communities and this is where you can join the supports uh, so here's that science group that I was in and there's quite a few followers uh, there's specific things like Discovery Ed is on here, um, the Survey Monkey because we like doing Survey Monkeys. There's things that are specific to core subjects, and then there's also things specific to teacher needs. So I hope this helps. Oh, notifications, really quick. If you have a, a reply or an assignment turned in, this little bell up here will have a number sign beside it that tells you that you have something turned in. Um, on your accounts, if you go to settings, this will allow you to change your photo, set up your email address, a secondary email just in case, like if the LISD website is all down and I can't access it, but I know they sent something to me, then they'll kick it to the second alternative email. Um, your school, you'll probably need to fill this in and then your profile URL. This lets you give your class kind of a name um, because my kids are all known as Carter Kids. That's what I put it in. If it doesn't accept it, uh, then it'll kick it back and say, no, you can't do that. Um, you can add these. These are kind of their generic pictures. I tell the kids you have to pick one of these generic pictures or pick something that is specific to you like I like dachshunds so I would pick a picture of a dachshund um, my kid profile I would recommend you set one up as a kid just so you can see it has a turtle on it because I like turtles so try to keep their um, things simple for email and text updates um, I get updates when there's a new alert a note direct messages to me so this would be a kid direct messaging me like hey I need help or I don't understand the homework. And then when somebody uh, wants to join our group, they send a request. So you can get as many or as few updates as you want. Uh, they send to text messages. They used to do email, but now they just do text message. Uh, you can set reset your password if you think you've been hacked. Um, you can set up your privacy so that it's, uh, if somebody is searching Edmodo sites for you then like all they show for me is the grade level on my profile it doesn't show the entire profile and all of the teachers that I know um, and then this hidden post is things like that you've gone um, hide from notifications so these are things that either I don't want to be involved in or I've said hey I don't want to get all your random updates because sometimes they get kind of crazy so I think that's it. Uh, real quick with the planner. Um, if you are like some teachers and you want things super organized, you can put these out. Like this was a quiz that we were going to have. And then uh, science classes were in blue for this period. And then science club was in this purple. Uh, so this was saying UIL prep, you must attend one of these meetings. These are the star tests. I want to say that as we went back, it got. You can put as much in or as little in as you want. Um, it depends on how active you are. This year, I'm going to have a student put the agenda in every week on Monday. Like that's going to be part of their job. So. Hopefully this helps a little bit. If you have questions, please feel free to email me. Or if you're on Edmodo, if you join our teachers and sub group, this is our code YJX4QE, um, you can send me a message on there. And I'll be more than happy to help if I can. If not, then I'll divert you to the proper channels. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you around. Have a great rest of your school year.